Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing measuring mass or measuring weight. So we can use different uh, devices to measure our weight or to measure mass, to measure mass. Mass is a measure of how heavy an object is. These are the things you need to remember. And gram is the basic unit of mass in the metric system. We also have our conversion unit here, conversion table. We have kg, hg, dag, g, dg, cg, and mg. Kg stands for the kilogram. Hg stands for the hectogram. Dag stands for the decagram. And G stands for the gram. Dg, decagram. Cg, centigram. And Mg, milligram. We will be using this conversion table to easily convert a certain unit to our desired. Let's have our example number one. Eight grams to kilograms. First, locate our given unit in our table. So gram is here. We're going to kilogram. So gram to kilogram, we need to move one, two, three. So we need to move three times. To the left. So we know that a whole number, the decimal point is located here. So eight, decimal point is located on the right side. So one, two, three. Period. Then we have two hollow, so right zero, zero. Therefore, our answer is zero point. 0, 0, 008 and the desired unit is kilogram. That means 8 grams is equal to 0 0.008 kilograms. Understood? It's just like converting our last lesson, measuring length. We're going to use the same table, but in this case, our basic unit is the gram. Now, let us try number two. 45.6 kilograms to gram. Again, first step, locate kilograms. Kilogram. Going to gram. Erase this. Kilogram. So one, two, three. We need to move three times to the right. So the decimal point is located here. So the right, 45.6. Move one, two, three. One, two, three. Period. So our answer will be right zeros in our hollow four five six zero zero grams that would be our answer next convert two thousand five hundred grams to Decagram. Grams. Or gram to decagram. So one. We need to move one to the left. So 2500. We know that the decimal point is located here. So move one unit to the left. So our answer will be 
250 decagram. And for our last example, 0 0.053 hecto oh, it should be hectogram hectogram to milligram. Where is the hectogram? It's here. We need to find the milligram. Now, let us count how many decimal places we're going to move. So, one, two, three, four, five. We need to move five units to the right. So, 0 0.053, the decimal point is located here. One, two, three, four, five. We have to hollow one. So that is 5,300 milligram. Okay. 5,300 milligram. Now we are done in measuring mass. And of course, you are ready to answer your handbooks or your modules. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. See you in our next lesson, Measuring Volume.